Hello, today we're going to be learning about abstract lines for Adobe Photoshop. Um, so first you'll want to open up Photoshop. Um, then you want to create a new blank file, whatever kind of dimensions you want. Um, then you want to fill in the background with black create a new layer, then select your brush tool. I recommend pressing using a 300 soft brown brush, airbrush, and then you just want to find a bunch of colors and just play around like this color, fill it in, and like fill it in so there's no black showing afterwards because if there is black showing that wouldn't look very good so I'm just gonna do this let's mess around with it um, one's pretty simple but the more colors you look the more worse it looks because when you put your lines on it depending on what your designs actually gonna be uh, sometimes it doesn't look as good if you have like a whole bunch of different colors but it pretty much just depends on what you're doing so I'm going so what you want to do is click on your for this layer click on blending mode then go to overlay yes it's supposed to be black you want sure your foreground's white then click on your background and click new layer so layer 2 is in between layer 1 and the background then it's time for the brushes for the design. Then you want to click on your internet and you want to go to brusheasy.com. This is a site that has a whole bunch of different brushes. I mean so many brushes. I can't even imagine how many they have. But you want to go to the brushes tab and I'm just going to pick this. And once you pick one that you like, press download file, and then after it's done, open it, and then there's some pictures that they made. Um, drag the brush to your desktop, exit that, and it should be on your desktop here, which mine is right here. And then you go back to Photoshop, go to your brushes select tool, on Adobe Photoshop there should be this little arrow click on it and go to load brushes. It should be here. I'm just going to go here and I've downloaded a bunch of different ones so I have a bunch of different ones I could use and then once so I'm just going to go to a, different, a bunch of different ones and just play around with it. I mean it doesn't have to be perfect this is just a tutorial and let's see they have a bunch of these really cool ones I mean I've played around with it for a little bit and it looks really cool um let's see I really like that so let's undo we'll go to this little line and you just play around with it I guess it's not very hard but and after, because after you've figured out things, um, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, you never find it really hard, because things on Photoshop look harder than they really are, but they're really not that hard. And I'm just playing around with this here. Um, but yeah, after you've got kind of what you want, uh, you can just merge these layers down. So you can select some of the layers and then merge. All right, don't undo and then merge these layers down. And it should look pretty much like that. And yeah, so once you get that, you're pretty much done. You can add other things. The more creative creativity you have the more the better it will look so 
thanks guys, give me a thumbs up or subscribe, whatever you really want to do, so, thanks, bye.